Listen, and you will hear stories of beauty, strength, and inspiration. Let's talk women talk. Lai Yixuan decided at a young age that music is her life. Now barely 19, she is studying at a conservatory in Singapore and has already been signed to a record label. What motivates someone to live their dream? So Yixuan, I'm very curious. You're so young and um, you play exceedingly well. Where did this love for music come about? Well, my family is... Um a family that really loves music. My parents really loved to play music around the house when I was younger. I was exposed to a lot of different kinds of music. So, but you play piano as well. So why the violin? I feel that the violin sounds like the voice. And wherever I play it, I feel like I'm speaking, you know, through the violin. So that to me is much more special. Now, so your love for music turned into this love you have for performing. Mm. And when did that start and how did that come about? When I started to go into the Nanya Academy of Fine Arts to, to um, have a deeper education in violin performance, they would make us do weekly masterclasses for all my peers and the parents. We have to go through that as, when I was really young. And uh, that trained me, you know, uh, to perform and to manage my stage fright. I, I used to be fearful of performing because of all the stage fright and everything. I thought maybe that wasn't for me, you know. I thought, um, since I had stage fright, maybe I wasn't cut out to be a performer. But slowly I realised that everybody had stage fright. <laughs> yeah, so I, I thought that, you know, the way to do it was to overcome it instead of avoiding it. You know, if I really wanted to be a performer, I should, I should go all out to change this, you know, to change my perspective of performing instead of avoiding it. It gives me a lot of satisfaction to be able to perform um, up to my own expectations. It, it feels like a challenge every time I go on stage, you know, to me, I, I like to go through that challenge and I come out stronger like that, you know. It always trains me to be much stronger inside. And I know you've been through quite an interesting journey to get to where you are today. I mean, you are signed mm -hmm. uh, with a record company uh, and now you are uh, studying music as well in the conservatory at Yong Siu So, tell us a little bit of that struggle or the challenges that you had to overcome in order to get to where you are today. Well, before I went into Yong Siu I was studying at Raffles Institution and at Junior College Year One. I told myself, you know, I have to make a very important decision whether I should continue to pursue music or I should go the conventional way and take my A-levels. And you know, after I reflected on it for a very, very long time, I decided that music was what I really wanted to do. What do you think is one thing that has gotten you to where you are today? I think it's my stubbornness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually my family and a lot of my peers, my teachers around me, they ask me, you know, think carefully, is that really what you want, you know, because it's a path that not many people take and, you know, if you take it, you're going to walk alone. So where do you think your stubbornness comes from? I think it's because I know that this is what I want and I don't want to live my life with regrets, you know, I don't want to live my life directed by other people. You know, they say you go here and you go there, you take A-levels, you take A-levels. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like to craft my own path and, you know, um, leave my own footprints. Yeah. Now, if there are young people or anybody out there basically watching this and um, they have dreams to be a performer or an artist, um, what advice do you have for them? Uh, I will tell them to be very sure. You know, I said you have to be 101% sure that that's what you want. Because along the way, it's going to be tough. People will try to knock you down. There will be so many negative things you have to face. But only when you have it strong inside, you can take it and you can you know, be stubborn enough <laughs> to go through all these um, and come out even stronger and ultimately reach your goal. Uh, besides your stubbornness, uh, is there anybody in your life has, that's kind of been there uh, to help you and support you along the way? Definitely my family. 
they have always been there, you know. And of course, my management, my boss, Ken Lim, he also gives me a lot of advice on how I should perform better. Now, if you had an opportunity to say something to these people, what would you like to say to them? Well, I'm very grateful to them, you know, for giving me so many opportunities. And uh, there are times where I just break down, you know, because it's very stressful, but they, they still, you know, are there every time I can fall back on them. So what are your dreams and what do you want to do after you graduate from school? I really want to be a violinist. I like to perform. I like, uh, I like classical music and I also like pop music. I like to do crossovers and stuff like that. <laughs> so Ishan, what is empowerment to you? Empowerment to me is to be yourself because it takes courage, you know, to follow your gut feeling and um, we should not let others direct our lives for us and we should create our own destiny. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm you. looking, I'm so excited for you, for your career. And um, I'm, 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 I really want an autographed copy of your album <laughs> one day. <laughs> Thank you, Yixian. Thank you. Yixian shows us that sometimes it takes not only courage, but a stubborn determination to make it through a road less traveled.